The APN Research Foundation plays a, a critical role as a research foundation focused on NPNs and almost uniquely situated amongst all of the stakeholders for these diseases, including organizations that are more broadly focused and that are partners, such as the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the National Cancer Institute, or other groups. Their efforts, I think, have been impactful on multiple levels, including strategic funding of research along important themes. These have included uh, symptom and patient-related difficulties, work such as myself and my group have been involved with, including the mainly the efforts to further validate and understand the MPN symptom assessment form, as well as other interventions. Second, they focused on expanding our understanding of interferons, as well as advocating uh, for MPN patients when access to interferons was threatened by supply chains and, and work advocating to the manufacturers of those products to both secure access and sometimes support for MPN patients. Strategic work focusing on areas of that were thematically important for MPN, such as inflammation, uh, fibrosis, uh, and progression. And finally, advocating for rational drug development in MPNs interacting with the Food and Drug Administration. Now, why do symptoms matter? Well, one, we have learned they clearly impact quality of life. They are tied to the biology of the diseases. They can give us insight sometimes into either the risk with the disease, as well as they can sometimes give evidence of progression. We've learned certain symptoms such as inadvertent weight loss, night sweats, bone pain can be associated with, with progressive disease. In many ways, our efforts with understanding symptoms in MPNs have become a model for other diseases, both malignant and benign diseases, in a partnership, partnership between patients, physicians, and investigators to better quantify the subjective, understand symptoms, learn about their biological underpinnings, track their uh, improvement with effective therapy, sometimes if need be, track their worsening if side effects from therapy actually increase symptoms. And then finally, as we hope, to develop further insight into new targets for new therapies yet to be developed that can both impact the symptoms as well as the biology of the disease. So it's been a very fruitful journey, one that we think that has been impactful for MPN patients and deeply grateful for the support of the MPN Research Foundation in many key aspects of these efforts.